Is it even worth it? This is a question I've been asking myself a lot lately, but it's also a question I want you asking yourself in multiple circumstances, specifically around food, around taking the easier path when it comes to making choices to work out or not to work out, to get up early or to not get up early. But also as you're figuring out your priorities in your life, as seasons are changing, right? Leaves are starting to fall off the trees. It's getting colder. And that just creates the shift in our schedule and in our day to day. So as you're moving throughout your day, as you're making decision after decision with every piece of your life, specifically around your health, physical and mental, I want you asking yourself, is it even worth it? Welcome to the Tough Love Mom Podcast, where you'll get the equipping and encouragement you need to do the hard things that lead to a healthy life. I'm Liz, and I'm a mom just like you. I've struggled in my journey, but I overcame by educating myself and by hearing about moms who had done hard things too. Get ready for the information you want and the motivation you need. You ready, friend? It's tough love time. When I initially planned this episode, I was going to specifically just talk about food and asking yourself that question, is it even worth it in this moment to have this versus, I'll get into some more examples later. But as I thought more about this episode and just my own life recently, I've come to realize that asking yourself the question, is it even worth it to have this on my plate to say yes or to say no, whatever it is that you're applying this question to is something we need to apply almost to every single decision we make. Is it worth the mental effort? Is it worth the physical demand? Is it worth the emotional input I'm going to have to put into life, into this decision? Because right now, personally, our family is in a season of change. We locally bought a house here in Alabama. We thought we'd be staying in the house we're in uh, for a long time, but we chose to buy, plant some roots, be here just for a little bit longer. And uh, this came up out of the blue and we're less than a month from moving in now. So it's been a big season of shifting and changing. Our kids are in school. I've I've started coaching at a, a local fitness studio and I'm also coaching club volleyball. I mean, lots of pivots that are just huge blessings in our life and we're excited and on this path and it's so fun. But I've been asking myself this question so often. Is it even worth it? The night before I had a long day, I'm exhausted, starting to feel sick. Is it even worth it to set my alarm for 4.30 in the morning and work out at 5 a.m.? Or is it even worth it to put it off or take a rest day? I'm constantly asking myself this question. And like I said in the intro, I was initially just going to apply this to the concept of food. Is it even worth having something that's processed or a treat or convenient in the moment when really you could have an opportunity to enjoy that type of food more. Like for example, uh, driving through Krispy Kreme because you want some quick carbs or something sweet versus going Saturday morning with your kids and buying some gourmet donuts at the local shop down the road. Not only does it support local small businesses instead of these big corporate ones, but you're also getting to enjoy something, make it an experience, right? Same thing like driving through the fast food drive through for dinner because you know you didn't have stuff ready or you just want to do it quick and convenient and not have to go cook food, right? So you're going through the drive through versus going out to dinner and having a nice gourmet burger at a restaurant. Not saying financially because of the difference, but just talking about the experience around what you're doing. Is it even worth the cost? Not financially, the cost physically, the cost on your health, the cost on your mental peace to be making this quick, convenient choice around food versus letting it be an experience, letting it be a memory, letting it be something enjoyable that's actually going to nourish you, not just physically, but mentally as well. Um, But then again, this question applies to the decisions we make, how we're sleeping. And I just want you asking yourself this more often, because like I said, right now, our family, myself personally, is in a season with a lot of changes and pivots. It's been a lot, to be honest. It's been a little overwhelming at times. I'm managing it really well, though, because I'm asking myself this question with almost every single decision I make. I'm sitting here going, is it even worth it for me to do this versus this right now? Is it even worth it 
to get another load of laundry done just so I'm on top of it? Or should I spend a few extra minutes with my kids? Or should I prep those lunches for the week? Is it even worth it? That's the question I've been asking myself daily about multiple different things in multiple different areas and what it's doing for me amidst all of this change and shifting in our lives is allowing me to keep my peace mentally. It's allowing me and having that peace allows me to stay consistent in my nutrition. It's allowing me to stay consistent with my fitness routine, even though there's not really a routine right now. It's more like, okay, what's this week going to look like? Cause it's not going to look like last week, but I'm still going to show up five days a week. <laughs> that's what it looks like right now. And that's okay for it not to look this structured black and white, you know, one, two, three type of way, but it's still consistent. I'm still showing up. And it's because I'm giving myself that mental space amidst all this craziness by asking myself, is X, Y, Z, is this choice? Is this convenience? Is this sacrifice? Is this whatever it is you're trying to make a choice on even worth it? Is it worth the mental effort? Is it worth the peace it's going to give or take away? What is this worth? Because each decision, each decision that you make is either adding to your life or subtracting from your life. And you're the only one that can determine that based on what's going on around you. So I want you asking yourself just that question a little bit more often with each decision you make, because anytime you're just going with the flow, letting the tide take you where it's going to take you're drifting. And drifting simply means you're not being intentional about the choices you're making. You're letting life take you where it's going to take you. And there's, there's a good, that's, in a, in a way, that's a good mindset, but in the way I'm talking about it right now, drifting means that you're not in control. You're not being intentional. You're not taking control of the choices that you have the opportunity to make each and every day. So don't drift because the current's going to take you where it's going to take you and you have no say over it when you choose to drift. Be intentional about your choices. Ask yourself, is it even worth it to do whatever it is in this decision that you're making. It is so worth it. It's a little more, not time consuming, but just, you got to think for a few extra seconds. And sometimes it doesn't feel like as moms, we have those few extra seconds to think, but you do, you really do. And you will benefit from it in the long run. I hope you can hear just the peace and settledness. I think I made that up, but the, the settle that I feel in my in, that I, you can hear my voice. Cause I really feel that deep down. <laughs> our life is crazy every I mean, Monday, just the other day I told Casey, I was like, this is our full court press day. Like I'm, I'm going to coach at four 30 in the morning. I'm gonna be there till seven 30. We have to get a babysitter to make sure <laughs> there's someone at our house. When our kids wake up in the morning, you're going to fly. It's a big flight. And then I had something that evening as well for volleyball. Uh, it was nonstop type of day, full court press, but I said, it's going to be fine. It'll all work out. And I really have this piece about me, but it's because I'm asking myself (laughs) multiple times a day, is this even worth it? Is it worth it? What's it going to do for me, for us as a family? And you can apply this to the food choices you're making. You can apply this to how you're taking on your fitness right now. You can apply this to how many things you say yes to and how many things you say no to, because all of that in the long run does impact your physical health. And that needs to be top priority, not just so you look and feel good. That's great. But so you can, it's about longevity, your health long-term. Like the reason I do this, my heart behind it is because I want you here and thriving for the long-term for your kids, for your grandkids, for your great grandkids. I mean, think about that. When you take care of yourself now, mentally, emotionally, physically, you have that opportunity, God willing. So ask yourself, Is it even worth it? I'll talk to you next time, mama. Get after it. Before you go, thank you for spending this time with me on the Tough Love Mom podcast. If this episode encouraged you in any way, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a review, letting me know how the show has impacted you. Then send this episode to another mom friend or take a screenshot, post it on social media and tag me so I can personally thank you for helping me on this journey to impact thousands of moms. I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you, sister. Until next time, get after it.